which are into home decor that we sell or use. Today we have this lovely, um, what is this, vanity set situation. It's a desk that we're going to make into a vanity. Well, it probably had a vanity mirror, but we're going to call it a Franken vanity because that's what happens when I marry stuff together that didn't originally belong. So judging by the back, this has never had a mirror attached. Oh, really? Okay. Nope. So this desk probably would have originally had like some wheels on it, which I will try to find some wheels because it's a little bit short. This is obviously not the matching chair. Somebody really liked cream paint and glaze. This was really popular in like the mid 2000s and some people still do, which is chill. Um, but we're gonna brighten this up. And this chair had some bleed through, so it's getting painted pink. And that mirror has seen um, better days. Yeah, it's missing some appliques. It needs a little work on the back so that it can be sturdy. It's got a inch and a half nail into three quarter, or screw into a three quarter piece of wood here. So, oh, here, come hold this so I can pan it and show them. Yeah. It's so tall when we put the mirror on, it's not fitting into the picture. All right, I'll hold on to this. Okay, there we go. And Mike, this is going into Liza's room, and my girls both need space to do their homework, but also to get ready, because four kids share one bathroom. Now, granted, the tub and toilet are separate from the sink, and the boys spend about three seconds in there, but they like to have a place where they can put their own makeup and their hair stuff, although I'm not sure Liza will be able to see to do her makeup, because this is a really old mirror, but... <laughs> That's okay, we'll get her one of those vanity mirrors. It's got, here, I'll bring you close. It's got, it's some, got some really good quality. crackle, which is, you know, we try to recreate this on newer mirrors, but this one is actually old. Yeah, it's like the old mercury glass situation. So we're just gonna leave it. My kids will probably grow up saying, I don't want anything old, because when I was a kid, I had to have all antique furniture. Just kidding, they love it. In fact, somebody asked in our last video, did Odelia even help out at all? And I asked Odelia, I'm like, do you love your room? She's like, I love this room. Make sure they know that. <laughs> Cause she helped pick out quite a bit of stuff. She said she wanted boho, but turns out she didn't really want boho. She didn't know what she wanted. So we figured it all out right, together. Keep, keep holding this oh. for a second. We're gonna get this screwed on here really quick. And then we're gonna start painting it all together as one piece. You could paint it separate, but these mirrors are really hard to paint separate. Um, and they swivel around a lot, so much easier if you just install them. We're gonna go B-board, which is a bright um, bluish white that has great reflective quality and makes it look brighter and whiter um, on the, the actual vanity desk. And then the chair has some bleed through. And I went up to Eliza's room and I peeked at her bedding that she picked out and it has a light pink. So instead of trying to fight the mahogany bleed through on this chair, I'm just gonna paint it light pink and go with it. If you guys watched that video the other day that I shared in the group, I might be saying everything with a Jersey accent these days. I'm like, just go with it. I know, it's a horrible Jersey accent, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the January Vintage Group and watch the makeup video. It's my best ever. Okay, so this was originally on like a different vanity, probably a taller dresser actually. Yeah. And the holes are different placement. So I've got to drill new holes in here and I just have my countersink bit. It's missing the drill tap because I dropped it and it broke off right before the video. I'm gonna pull up comments which is one of Oh, if you guys haven't subscribed, we'd love if you subscribe and the little like bell button. That's how you know when you're watching. You guys wanna see the weather? Here, let's turn this. Can you guys see all the snow? It's been a, a snowy morning situation. Christy lives about 15 minutes away and she's like, I'm staying home, but Jean's in the shop. So anyways, there's, I've there's the snow. I've been all week. The shipping has been, been delayed on everything I've ordered, so it's fine. It's, well, we're not, we're not beyond uh, like our 10 day shipping windows on anything anyways. Um, this morning it was too cold. Eliza didn't want to take care of the chickens. So Redrick got his snow boots on and manned up and took care of the chickens. And uh, I'm going to show you something funny while Zeb's doing this. When we went to France, I bought, I brought back some French enamel. This would probably retail for about $150. It's what my kids use to warm the chicken's water up with. They put hot water in here and pour it on the, the, the ice and break it up. And then they replace all the cold water with warm water every morning. And it just, 
cracks me up. Like only here at this house would kids be using a priceless French um, antique coffee pot. To... Well, it's not priceless. You just well, yeah, it's not less. priceless. I mean, I think I paid like twenty-five or thirty euro for it. But anyways, it's just funny. But this is this is one of my favorite pieces, and it's actually functional. We use it to break up the chicken's water. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys around on the backside. Yes, we're drilling in the kitchen. These are hundred year old fur floors. They've seen worse. They've been around for a hundred years. They can handle a hundred years of us. Okay, now you get to get this view over here. <laughs> our, our rug is missing because we had to sacrifice it for Odelia's room. Yep, it's in Odelia's room right now. We, I'm getting another one. We just haven't decided if we want to get the same one or slightly bigger. Okay, you guys let me know. Is that, that centered? We're gonna eyeball you, it. Well, I get the measuring tape. I know where it's at. We just do eyeballing around here. I'm gonna get the measure We can't break rank. I know, they're gonna be shocked. They'll be like, who is this woman with a measuring tape? But I, I know exactly All right, you let me know how close I am to the edge. So you're at like five and a quarter on this side into the little edge of the detail. And, but this is going to Eliza's room and she will notice. So you need to go over that way about an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch off. Keep going some more. Well, if, you, if it was five and a quarter over well, here. Just, just Go a little bit more. Okay, now not. Yeah, let me double check. Are you measuring right here? To no, I'm measuring to Just the, measure to this line. Oh, okay, I can do that too. So that's, right? It's like four and three eighths. No, that's five sixteenths. So over that way, just a scooch. Scooch, there you go, and you're centered. All right, good enough. Because my counter sink is broken, I'm going to use just a regular little It's not bit. funny, but we usually say good enough for government work. We should just say good enough for January vintage work. It's a, <laughs> it's a bad term I learned from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Most people that work for the government are awesome, so cheers to you. All right, you got that? Mm -hmm. Can you hold that so it doesn't tip over? Hold what, this? Screws? Yep, yeah. you're just keeping it from falling over. Bishop actually works for the post office. We like him. Zeb went uh, sledding with the bishop and the young man came home. He's like, that was so fun. But then he, he was complaining about all of his body parts that hurt. I just told him I'm grateful that uh, he has the youth to work with at church so he gets it out of the system. It was a lot of fun. All right, sorry for the squeaking. I did not pre-wax these screws. <laughs> I need to hold the whole thing from pushing right, forward. Good. We can add more later. Nope, it's good. That's all it's going to get. I would say I would. Oh no, I can't because it'll door. get in the way. You know, of the door. another trick, guys. If it's if you're kind of doing like a Franken buffet dresser situation, if you take a board and you put it right across the strip here, because obviously we can't screw in here because that's going to hit the drawer. But if you put a board that goes across back here and screw top and bottom with short screws so it doesn't poke through the decor. It will keep it a lot sturdier and you won't damage anything. We've done this a lot. <laughs> yeah, Rosie says she measures the center of, uh, of the piece and the mirror, which is also a good method. Well, we don't hardly measure ever. So. I, I wasn't even going to measure at all, so. That's actually awesome. And you know what I love? That there's so much space between here and here because then she can put things in front of it without actually covering up the mirror. But I mean, I'm All not right, really so sure. four holes, four screws. And now once we paint this, this will look pretty cohesive. It's got a little bit different style trim on the desk versus the mirror, but once we paint it, it really comes together. If we wanted to be real crazy, we could put some new stuff here, a big design there, and maybe we will later. But for now, we're going to get it painted. We do need to clean it. I'm worried that it's got gross, greasy stuff. So I'm going to grab you some, a damp cloth that has some soap <laughs> on it. And then I'll, will you unscrew this seat So, soccer mom, this is pretty sturdy. I don't need to glue this particular mirror. It's actually in really good shape structurally. It's just missing a couple screws on the back. Um, as far as like screwing it into the top, I wouldn't, I don't glue that to the desk because I need to be able to take that off again pretty easy to haul it up the stairs. Yeah, so what? Or put it in a car or whatever. What we will do if it needs it is put, like I said, put that strip of wood across the back, screw top and bottom, it's done. The lady that 
bought this from was like, I just realized that the chair doesn't mask for that. Uh, <laughs> We're my, like, it will. Don't worry. <laughs> I was like, I don't think it does. <laughs> I did pay $100 for the desk and the chair, and I think like 20 bucks for the mirror, which I feel like 100 bucks is kind of a lot, but try to find a desk during COVID. And you can't because everybody's at home doing their schoolwork. Oh, sorry, we don't say situation. the situation. <laughs> um, because everybody's doing schoolwork and homework at home. And so just desks are really, really hard to find. And I'm really, really picky. I don't do modern desks. I don't shop at the store, like the regular store. So it takes me a while to find things. So these drawers are actually in pretty good shape. Looks like they've been re-glued once, but dovetailed on here. All right, we got that drill. Let's get these. This one unscrewed. You need that unscrewed? Yeah, I want to take the seat off. Is, are they just Phillips? Oh, um, not all of them. Phillips, Phillips, uh, missing. So they're not the original screws. Okay. I don't know why my phone is not. Technology is not always my friend. What did you bring the stool over for? So you can put that upside down and unscrew it. Oh. Did you not notice it? Didn't have to see it on the ground. Okay. No, see that. So all of these handles only have one screw in them. Oh, Donna is giving me a hard time. You're actually cleaning it. We're cleaning. This lived out so after we bought this, we had this weird mud snowstorm and everything. Was it was like so muddy. It made it so look like gross. you've been four-wheeling for days. And Everybody's My house. Yeah, it was gross. So, it, yeah, I do occasionally wipe stuff down. Okay, so we are going to paint these in place. Just, Don't be shocked. Just saying. Because guess what? They all go in at different levels. If we take them out, we just paint it at flush. We have this weird line, which the previous person has, where the paint stops and starts. Okay, are you you're painting that pink? Yeah, I'm going to show Can you show them the bleed through on this? Let me finish wiping it down. I'm going to show them why I'm painting it pink. And there is light pink in her room, so it's a good option. Whoever painted this before was not concerned about bleed through. Can you see the pink on there that came through? It was, so what happened is it was probably a mahogany chair, mm -hmm. and they just painted it white, and then they sanded it, and you get pink when you do that. Yeah, most definitely it was. And then they sealed it with like a top coat. Can you finish wiping down this desk while I paint this? I'm going to try not to get pink on my white painted floors. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see why we wouldn't put the handles back on. I actually think I might want to do something more decorative in the future. Odelia, we use those cast iron mercantile poles that have a little bit of architectural quality, but for now these are going to go back on because I'm actually uh, out of mercantile poles. We only have a few left, so i got to wait till more come in. So this is kind of like a brassy, oil-rubbed bronze look on these. They're okay. They're good. I'm painting this petticoat. Oh, were you going to show them? Did you show them the bleed-through? I did already. Oh, okay. I'm painting this petticoat pink. It's DIY paint. Don't need to sand it. Just wiped it down. And I'll show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys the pillowcase so you guys can see what this is matching. Um, Eliza's hair, Eliza's hair. Eliza's room is art deco meets um, antique. That's kind of her style. She also said she wanted bohemian, but then she started picking out pieces, and I was like, that's, that's not Bohemian. So, we're good. It's fun. Her uh, curtains have like tassel pom poms on them and they're pink velvet. And I think that the tassel pom poms are like an orange color. So, she has a very fun room. Let's see. I'm going to get something to dry that off. And her paper is like a black and white check polka dot thing. So, more Art Deco, and Odilia's room wound up being more Art Nouveau. Can't hear Jamie very well. Am I not talking talking loud enough? You're talking quiet, and you need to look Sorry, I still can't it's, hear. It is farther away, so just yell at it. Okay, sorry, I'm either too loud or too soft. Um, I still can't hear great. I have all the stuff, I have all your tips. I lack all the time that it takes to institute it. I just need to take some minutes today and fix my ears. And 
the stupid weather has made my sinuses drain crazy like the barometric pressure. So I took some allergy meds, which dried up my nose this morning, but also is making me a little sleepy. Even when they say non-drowsy, they lie. Low energy Jamie is still more still. energy than most. <laughs> <laughs> True story. All right, now we can pay. Okay. Oh, I did not want to get, can I borrow that washcloth? I, these are not my paint pants. So, <clears throat> number one reason we leave the drawers in like this is because they go all the way back in and I want to paint where it's set, but I don't like to paint the drawers too much inside because I find on these older desk dressers, whatever you're painting, buffet, that there's not a lot of wiggle room, the wood's swollen over time, or it's, uh, it's settled into place, and your drawers will get real sticky if you paint the insides of them. And so less sanding or taping if we do it like this. I'm really struggling with one. These might become paint pants. They might be paint pants? I um, Yeah, and we always sand them when we're done, because people are like, oh, they're gonna stick if you do them that way. No, if we pull them out, we sand the edges smooth, it looks great, it works great. We don't paint the side of the drawers because over time they will stick. I don't care how pretty it looks, it's just not your best option. Although unless... we might try to do some uh, Katie Scott decoupage on the side of the drawers. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm that into it, but I might put some drawer liner in with decoupage paper. Like, Katie Scott's cool. But I have a really hard time when I know my kids aren't really gonna care, like, doing this, being extra on the sides of the drawers. You should see what Eliza's last desk looked like. We have a video from when we built her desk and did her room um, at the old house. It was like Arts and Crafts <laughs> Central. Yeah, she's like, the top needs repainted. I'm like, yeah. And I'm okay. I want my kids to be able to use their pieces. So I just don't get too precious with them. And I hate buying. We actually made her last desk. I hate buying desks because they're usually so cheap. They just don't hold up. And if they're solid wood, they're like into it a grand. I'd rather be into it one hundred dollars. That's a pink. Is that how much this one costs? Yeah. Which is a lot for a waste not Wednesday activity, but really it's it just is a lot. How much was the mirror? Uh, twenty bucks. But this is what I needed to do today, so that's what we get. Sometimes it's love. also um, we're cleaning out our garage right now, and this was living in the garage, so now we have two less things in the garage. That is a bonus. If, if you think you you need new stuff, but you have a messy garage, part of wasting not is cleaning your crap up and using what you've got. <laughs> That's me talking to myself there because I, I'm kind of a mess. That's a little pep talk. Yeah, a little Jamie pep talk. I'm sure they're surprised that I'm a mess. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, Essentially, Kimberly says her daughter loves when she makes her stuff. Yeah, my girls love it. My boys, um, I don't really put a lot of antiques in their room because... They just don't care. Like, yeah. like is it soft? Can I sit on it? Can we build Legos on it? Like, that's, that's their main concern. Harrington had a mid-century, um, very nice, can't remember the, the brand name of it, bed. And when we moved out, he put gum all on the inside of his headboard and his footboard. I was like, yep, that's why I don't. That's why you can't have nice things. <laughs> he didn't even want it. Like, he's, he's got his own place. His mattress is just on the floor because he's like, the bed takes up too much room in my, in my small room. <laughs> I showed his girlfriend what his room looked like before because she would have been in it um, like before we moved and seen what it looked like. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's what it looked like when you finished it? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, he's a mess. She started laughing. I mean, truth be told, I was a mess when I was a teenager, and I'm like decently clean now, so grow out of it. My mom said she was worried about me. I don't put your hair in my paint. My messy there. bun? Yep, no messy bun in the paint today. It wouldn't be the first time. I guess I should spin this around so you guys can see the front. So I'm doing what we usually do, tons of paint on the top real quick and then I'll straighten the brush strokes out. He's gonna swipe it like a windshield wiper. Get it on there, don't freak out. Again, that's the video. 
I love her. I'm trying to find out who that woman is because I want to contact her. So I'd love to take her video and do like a TikTok montage. You gotta get permission first. I mean, you don't have to, I guess, because people know all the time, but I do because I like to respect people's intellectual property. Okay, all right, my thing's back behind you over here. Sorry. So. The insider is really great for details. This has this carved rose on top, and this brush made quick work of it. There is some bleed through I can see coming through this pink paint. I'll just distress anywhere there's bleed through and then use clear wax instead of liquid top coat, and I feel like it'll be fine. If I was really worried about it, I could use salvation solution. So because this is going in Eliza's room, and she's real into like experimenting with makeup, and she does tons of arts and crafts and things, we'll probably put a few coats of top coat on here. Oh, on the top of the... Yeah, on, over the paint, which yeah. probably won't get to that in this video, just letting you know. Um, probably big top. I actually really strong. love clear wax because I feel like it's more forgiving. <laughs> if she gets it on there, we can just scrub it, repaint. And... Well, and to take one of the drawers and put a uh, drop cloth in and be like, when you paint, pull it out, put it on top. It's got to make it easy for kids. Well, if she has a drop cloth, she might, but I don't she know. She is pretty particular. Like, if she will try to keep stuff. She I'm thinking she we'll just make it like a tabletop and run with it. That's true. All right. This is going to move over to the island, and I will help you. Okay. All this little detail on this applique. Yeah, is, it would be better if you had my brush. That's okay. It's I'm going to wash my brush, though, because I don't have any other This brush things. got it done. Making light work of it. Okay. I'm going to check comments from over here. All right, but make sure you're close if you talk back. Well, I'll tell you you tell him. Um, I'm having trouble buffing out all the black wax from hey, the shelf. Hey, hey. I'm telling you. No one's going to no one's gonna hear you. Just I'm come telling, over. You didn't listen to me. I thought just, I'm telling you to tell Just that. quickly wash your brush. I'm not doing that. No, just tell her to use clear wax as an eraser. Oh, okay. Use with a magic eraser? No, like when you have black wax, you can't get it oh. off. Oh, yeah. So and so, I use wax and use a wrap. So if your, your black wax is fresh and you put it on there, and you get it on there and you're like, oh, that's way more black wax than I wanted, just use clear wax and it'll thin it out and pull it off. If it's been sitting on there for a while, you may be out of luck. But try the clear wax over the top of the black wax and a lot of times it'll pull it back and you can control it a little better. Oh, they said they could, Rashana said she could hear me. Um, so Heidi said she's gonna paint her kitchen cabinet with white swan, so she needed a top coat. Would you fill her in on that one? Uh, kitchen cabinets, we, yes, um, so we've got we have top pickings. coat, Sweet Pickens top coat on our cabinets here at the house. It's holding up well. Um, I, I would treat kitchen cabinets just like you would a table. Lots of coats. Lots and lots of coats because they're going to get a lot of wear over the years and wet and greased and spaghetti sauce and all kinds of stuff. All right, we're using B-board today. So, um, I missed the beginning. What's the design goal? The design goal is that it matches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just kidding. This is the desk vanity for my daughter, Eliza. Although the mirror really is, we may have to take the mirror out, reframe it, use it somewhere else as decor only, and put a mirror that actually works. What do you mean? Oh, Because you're, she can't see herself in that. You're talking take the actual antique mirror Or out. she could see well enough to do her hair. Not the heart the for the mirror, just the old antique mirror. Yeah. I'm just seeing if I missed All right, let's turn sideways though and talk to the camera. Sorry. If you're not going to be painting. I'm going to be painting. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Does anybody think that we've traded roles today? I'm on allergy meds and Zeb's getting all bossy pants over here. It's because you are on allergy meds and you're not painting. You're like distracted. I just said she has five kids. Yeah, lots and lots of top coat as your friend. Also keep extra paint and top coat for future uh, reference. Although I can say... Our last kitchen cabinets, we cleaned them, we lightly sanded, we primed, we painted, we sealed. We did all the things, probably way more than was necessary. They held up great. I had a little bit of touch-up to do, and they looked brand spanking new. The only place I had to touch up was around a knob. The kids scratched it a was, lot with their fingers. It was the knob to the plate and bowl cupboard. Yeah, they got in there a lot. And then where they took a knife to the top of the cabinets, I mean, can't fix that. 
And then on the front of the cabinets, we had these corbels, and the kids would take the um, bar, bar stools. stools and fling them back and forth. And so it wore off a little paint on the corbels. But once I touched that up and I, I repainted some of the cracks because they were dirty, I just swiped them out and then painted and sealed them. They looked brand new. But other than that, they were perfect. No peeling paint, just held up really well. And Diana says, yeah, needs a new mirror for sure. We might leave it for a while because she has another big, like, standing mirror in yeah, the room. Yeah, she does. She does have another mirror. But if I were to take just the mirror off, this old look here is perfect. I would not toss that. That mirror would get a new frame and a new home, and I'd at least resell the mirror. One of the things we like to do to save money, pro tip, is we'll pick up a free or super cheap mirror and then we just have it cut down because mirror is really expensive but you can buy an old mirror for like five ten bucks at the thrift store and then just have your local glass shop or they usually you cut, can it, cut it yourself i'm um, getting good at mirror cutting yeah Zeb, Zeb can cut mirrors but if you have to buy a mirror super expensive if they have to make curved cuts that's where it gets spendy you'll right? notice we also didn't tape off the glass we just razor blade it off when we're done well i think there's a, enough dust to, it'll probably won't even stick yeah it might not we didn't mirror, wash the glass the mirror is pretty dusty and it might look clearer when we dust it right mm, i don't think it's gonna get cleaner it's got like a pretty faded yellow on this it's probably silver backing on this no it, it's definitely it's uh, mercury glass you don't want to be messing around with that or breathe that in Rips. I know I'm so used to using DIY paint that when we painted the walls, I was like, why is this paint dripping? Because <laughs> the DIY paint is really thick, and so it doesn't drip as easy, but latex drips like crazy. The lady was like, oh, you're going to repaint that? I'm like, yeah. Well, when we bought it, she said her friend had just redone it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't catch it. We're like, yes, we're repainting it. I don't think she had just redone it. It was pretty dirty looking. Like, it had been outside for a while. I'm not a fan of cream and dark wax, like if it looks brown and dingy. I've had too many kids smear stuff they shouldn't, and it just looks like, I won't tell you what it looks like, but you can, you can fill in the blank to what the brown stuff looks like. I always get all the weird areas to paint because I'm small. This mirror is old enough. The harp on here was hand cut and they didn't sand out. I can see the saw marks on the top here. It does have a stamp on the back, so it's probably like early 1900s. It's not like super, super old. The desk is actually probably newer than the mirror. Oh, yeah, the desk is... Like 40s? Yeah, it, at least, if not early 50s. A lot of times what happens with these desks, and it happened here, is they, they laminated the wood and the fronts will pop off, so they just painted right over it, which I'm going to do too. Oh, I guess I should see if there's questions. I'm going to let you keep painting. That's fine. It's going pretty quick. It's covering real good over this cream. Yeah, I would say so. You got big drips uh, on the front. Yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, this is going into Liza's room, which subsequently is not the next room we're doing, but we just needed to get it out of the garage. And so rather than move it 800 times, I'm like, let's just paint it and we'll put it in her room. We're actually giving away her old desk and all the Ikea hack furniture we did that's actually still in great shape to a friend of mine who has daughters. Um, and so we'll, we'll drop that all off today and we'll put this in her room and then we'll get to her room makeover when we get a chance. How much money do you think you spent on butcher block countertops? Mm. For the pantry and the kitchen? Like five, six, six hundred dollars maybe? Because we need three. <laughs> yeah, because the long ones pieces. are like 150 a piece. They're 200 almost. So maybe 600 because our island uh, was reclaimed wood. So it's just the back counter and the pantry. And then we have butcher block in the laundry room, which you guys probably haven't even seen yet. Um, and that wasn't super expensive. Actually, I set this butcher block is a little burnt. 
because we have a gas stove. She and didn't. She didn't let the. She didn't light it right away. She let the gas <laughs> build up. I mean, it didn't catch on fire. It's just black all around the edges. It's charred, then. It's fine. We'll white wax it. You'll never know. It's fine because I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't know how long these butcher blocks are gonna last. I might replace it with a natural stone or whatever. But at the time, we didn't have fifty thousand dollars for a kitchen. We had like two thousand dollars. So we used builder grade cabinets and butcher block counters and voila. Okay. So it's it's coming together. It's got a little more cohesive look. We got to paint this one. You can see the. Bit. All right, Jim, you just went in front. Oh, sorry. I just got to fix this because you didn't do. Oh, it's drying. You yeah. didn't do long strokes here. It's kind of choppy. Well, I'm gonna go second coat on oh, it. Oh, yeah. We have some bleed through here. You can fix your shirt. Sorry, is my underpants hanging out? Yep. But, I, but you got in front of what I was trying to show them. Oh, sorry. So you can see the difference between the beadboard and the cream pretty well right there on the bottom. Kind of what we're doing. I mean, it looks cool because it's got almost like this dental molding, dental style molding um, around the top and the bottom. But I think that's going to show up anyway because you can still see it pretty good on this side. Yeah, I'll just dress it and make it come back. I'm trying to think we have... Yeah, the mirror's just screwed on right now. Because I'm gonna, it's it's attached and it's plenty sturdy to lean up against the wall, but I don't trust it with four screws in there to move it up the stairs around through the hall. We'll just take those out and haul it up real easy. It also makes it good if you've got to move it ever like to another location. Just pull the mirror off and you can throw it in the back of an SUV or a van or your truck. No, don't have to worry about that mirror falling off and breaking. Another thing that I've done, if I want to make my whites look whiter, instead of sealing it with clear wax, I'll seal it with white wax. And so sometimes that kind of hides bleed through issues too. Pro tip. I also will sometimes, it, like my doors upstairs are painted in a little black dress and I sealed them with black wax and then waited for a couple of days because I'm lazy and then buffed them off. And then if they get any scuffs, all I have to do is come back through with the black wax and touch it up and they look fine. Or just leave the scuffs because I don't care. All right, I'll paint. Oh, I was going to paint the front. I guess I'm going to paint this side. If you didn't replace the mirror, could you make it a bulletin board? Absolutely. Yep. Or you could put metal in there. It's like, or like a magnet. Or magnet. Can you put that more centrally located? Yes. This was about half empty when we got it, and so about a half a quart is going to do this desk. If you're super picky, you might need a whole quart. I'm not super picky. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't take too much to DIY. We'll have to do probably a coat and a half, but because it wasn't a dark color, because it was cream underneath, it's getting really good coverage. Well, you can see too, like the one where it was dark up top, you can you can see the streaks. Depends on when we finish this video, but I might just go to the shop and grab some Salvation Solution because it is white and then I can just touch up any bleed through areas and then one more coat and done. Oh, they, uh, Leslie, you're not supposed to say what I said. <laughs> that was in the channel member video. We let you know how much it was. We actually didn't tell you the total total, and we're actually not done making returns. So yeah, when we do the garage video, we will give you show you the receipts of how much we got from returning. And a lot of people are like, "You guys are so good to save all the receipts." Uh, we didn't. We got we store, just credit, a store credit, which is fine because we're going to spend thousands of dollars at the Home Depot and or Lowe's, Lowe's and the hardware stores, local hardware stores around this year so no big I mean, they can look it up by the card but the problem is we have personal card business card the Lowe's card I lost some cards along the way so store credit is fine yeah it was a year and a half project and some things even they were really good there they didn't even if it had a UPC on it they returned it for us John dog says how about we shut off the camera and ship out my order how about we are not the ones that ship it <laughs> yeah there's someone there shipping right now yep we have people shipping actually around the clock. There's no way with as much as we do that we could we could also get your orders out. They would never have Yeah, it. one of our shippers likes to work late at night when her kids are asleep. <laughs> John says he just got a shipping confirmation. Ha, there you go. 
And we're not even at the shop, so it's not like we're like, hey, get John's order out. They're just working. But yeah, we actually, you know what? We've been noticing too with Amazon that uh, we were supposed to get orders a few days from now, but then they came. And I think it's because things are delayed like in Texas area. And so because that stuff isn't coming in, then Amazon is shipping out the things they already have in stock. So we have actually got things a little bit early because they, there's probably stuff they couldn't ship out. Logistics is interesting. It's, it's a fun story. Actually, yesterday we should have videoed it. Caitlin and I were, so Mariah is going to be shipping out for wholesale. But she had to go to Arizona to get some more doctor stuff done. And she's coming back today. So Caitlin and I had all of the decoupage paper spread out on our table, spread out on the island, spread out on the couches because they're big and it's just easier to spread out. And we were shipping and my dad made something to eat. And he's like, where am I going to sit down to eat this? And I'm like, you're going to have to eat in bed. <laughs> he wasn't too sad about that. Because usually between you and your mom, you're like, no, you can't eat in the room. <laughs> yeah, but we're like, no, you can eat in your room today. Um, but we're super excited because Mariah is going to take over wholesale shipping. So she's going to be awesome at that. So we get a lot, I would say, if you order within the first three days of the paper release, the pre-orders are going out today. Hopefully there are delays because of weather, because um, we just barely got the paper. In. And then the rest will go out in the next few days and we have more paper coming in next week. All right, do we want, can, can we get, let's pull one of these drawers out and do a second coat and show them the paper okay. that we're gonna I, do. Cause you guys can kind of get the, have a this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. We'll do another coat on here. The knobs will go on. You can see what those are gonna look like. Um, yeah, let me go grab something to open those drawers. Wow, Cape said she had an overnight package. It took four days. Yeah, UPS isn't um, guaranteeing anything. Oh, look, we're doing the same thing. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna I go get a screwdriver. <laughs> That's funny. All right, this one is more dry than that one. Yep, I just barely painted this one, so yeah, let me put a start over this. there, or maybe we can even get the heat gun out. Um, I got to paint the inside of here still, and then we'll need a little bit of touch up, especially up here, because this wood was darker. This is going to for sure need two coats up here on the mirror, and then down here, probably just a little bit of touch up. Yeah, it, it's and we may do a distress on this, just, you know, it's, it makes the paint real nice and smooth and soft. Like, it illuminates a lot of brush strokes and things, especially since she's going to be riding on the top. All right, that one's good. <laughs> Jane said that her furniture order, sorry, I, I have a weird laugh when I'm on allergy meds. Her, her furniture took 10 months. That is a long time. Ty and Mariah are having a couch delivered, and I hope it doesn't take them 10 months. They My, said two and a half. Two and a half months. So we actually have, sell the couches that we have, and they're, they're always special order, and they take anywhere from four to six months to get in um, to people. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'd love to order the couches and, like, have them in stock, but we don't have that kind of shop space. I think Christy would lose her. I'm going to be over here. Be All right, thanks. What did you say? I'm just going to heat gun this real quick. So oh, okay. Zep so just everything. over there heat gunning the drawer, and then we're going to put some decoupage paper in the actual drawer. Mostly just to get it dry so we can show you putting the paper in. What paper do we want to use? <laughs> John says, okay, okay, I take it back. It's all right. We all get a little saucy at every now and then. Like my shirt. Me? Sarcastic? Never. So the only reason I'm using the heat gun is so that we can show you a somewhat completed project in the space of about an hour video. If you ever have a shipping delay though, you can email customer care at JanuaryVintage.com and Kaylin will take care of you. We can always tell that people are used to not getting good customer service because sometimes they come out like they're ready to to battle and we're like, yeah, we'll figure it out. We're gonna do what we can. Sometimes it takes a minute. Or sometimes the post office says they delivered it, but then they didn't because they just clicked the wrong button. That's always fun. All right, can you guys see the chair next to this? I wanted to show you what this looked like together. Did you put the seat back on it? Are you gonna reupholster that seat? Well, I ain't leaving that fabric, but I don't know what fabric I'm gonna do. I'll go, when you're done with that, I'm gonna go get the, the, pillow sham so they can see. Obviously, this brown is not staying. Let me go get a pillow sham. 
Okay. Okay, so this one's dry. Oh yeah, that is kind of like a brownish weird. Do you need me to pull it off or do you want me to leave it on here? I'm worried that, oh no, it's just pulling right off. So, oh, the board is not in great shape. Someone put some brackets, some hanging brackets there to reinforce this wood. Looks like it's been wet some point along the way. But not super hard to get this old upholstery off, which is good. I don't even have to get my pliers or my screwdriver out. geometric this is the pillowcase we actually sell if you look up the bedding on jrvhome.com we sell this bedding in twin but yeah there you go you can see petticoat pink is a perfect match so i just got to decide what color I, don't, I love the white but i think that would be too much so we'll see i don't know what fabric to put on there this is kind of a conundrum all right that's off yeah, my sister is in Texas. I saw you guys talking about Texas there. My sister's in Texas, just uh, north of Houston, and she was without power for like 55 hours. Deb, what do you think about a dark gray? I think gray? some people are still without power. Yeah, dark gray looks good with that. Because that's color. what color her, um, her rug is in there. Let's see what else we got. All right, let's do some decoupage paper. You got distracted again. Come, come back. <laughs> I gotta paint the inside of this. I'm back. Oh, you're gonna decoupage? No. I just cut it and then just glue it down on the bottom. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. Oh, you want me to do the paper? <laughs> yes, I'm still painting. Okay. I, I heat gun to dry for you. Well, I gotta pick which paper. So I was thinking the one, since it's gonna be down in the drawers, that because those are our sample papers. The misprint uh, cheap one would be fine in the bottom of the drawer. I like it. It's one of my favorites. Well, yeah, but it's not even very exciting in the drawer. I mean, you just shouldn't. Are you wanting to do like a floral or something? Yeah, I might. So it's funny. So Diane said, could you use a pillow sham to cover the seat? That's exactly what I was thinking. I was just going to take that pillowcase off, cover the seat with it. And then I have another pillow sham I could throw on her bed, and then it would be a matching set. Okay, this is what we're gonna use. This is the Mammy Floral. I think this pink and peach will go good with what we have going on in the room. And it's just the inside of the torch. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let me get through this. Sorry, you guys probably can't really. I mean, it's super exciting. It's painting the side over here, but Jamie's going to decoupage and that'll be fun. I'm just corral her, Zeb. Robin, 22 years together, he hasn't corralled me yet. Nope. There's no corralling this situation. Got to let her run wild and free. There's no corralling Zeb either, just in case anybody. <laughs> If he even not really this has to happen to get stuff done or otherwise. Alright. I'm not what's the best way to do this? I never actually lined a drawer. I guess I'll just it's probably about that wide. I mean, it's gonna be covered in stuff. I don't know if they can even see you. Okay, well, I'm just... We're going from a top-down view. This is like the Debbie Beard angle. Yeah. She likes to film from the head. So she just basically cut it. She didn't even measure. Well, what I'm doing now is I'm, like, folding it in. So it's 
So now I know I have cut it a little wider, so now I know exactly how big to make it. But you have to cut it down a little bit or you can't fit it in there. So, scoring it a little. Done. You can also use wrapping paper, scrapbook paper if it's big enough. You know, all the things. Should probably, I'm not going to lie, she's probably only going to get the top two drawers done in this because I am not doing this for six drawers. <laughs> I would if I was going to sell it. And I probably should decoupage it in so that way it's got some sort of sealer on it because I can picture her getting it dirty and needing to wipe it. All right, that fits good. Ta-da! Kind of likes gray and pale yellow together. Perfect. Oh. I hope Eliza does too because that's what she's getting. All right, where's the secret sauce? That's what Mary calls it. Well, hunker down, Rashonda. Don't uh, don't let those freezing storms get you. That's that's scary because they knock out all the power and things. So <clears> we had a friend have her uh, water heater burst because it froze um, in their basement, uh, where you're kind of same area, and uh, it flooded like their whole basement. I'm gonna have to wash this brush because I don't know where all of our brushes are. I'm going to use Big Talk. Somebody asked if we could, so I'm going to do it. If you can use Big, big Talk to date, Big Top to decoupage. Yep. Just have to have a really good, if it's, the tissue paper is thin enough, it just has to be a quality top coat. You don't want anything too harsh or chemically. Delisa, yeah, we've done the drop cloth with the stencil on it. It works great for covering seats, especially like if you use one of the grain sack ones. You can make them look almost like an old grain sack if you don't have one, or if you need it to be like a bigger size than the grain sack is and you just stencil it. That's why we came out with the, uh, the grain sack stripe stencil, because it's just really fun to play around with on fabric and things. Well, and you don't always have access to grain sacks, or you don't want the, you, you don't love the crustiness. Can you open that? Yep. So I think I've got most of the weird brush strokes chased. We just need to wait for this to dry and do a second coat. Here, I'm gonna bring the camera in closer so they're not getting that right. funky view. So this works, this is not as good as liquid patina, I'm not gonna lie, but it does work. It works, it's just thinner. The liquid patina is thicker and more, more matte. I feel like uh, more matte um, decoupage medium is, it, it just works better for whatever reason. I'm not sure what the science is You know, I said it. I could do this and then now I'm not going to be able to do it. I would just put it down in there and then smooth it I out. I know, I'm trying to get it into the corner. Oh, gotcha. And not rip it. That All is right, the tricky part. Alright, this is not working well. Hold on. <laughs> Deb, can you grab the, can you put that up and then just grab the other side? Here. Just don't rip it. You have paint on your hands. Yep. Need it. So, so put it down in there and just Slide move it as you smooth it around. Well, I'm just trying to... you're going to have to smooth it. I know. We All have right. some of that old uh, Rocky Mountain decal left over from... Odelia's room? Odelia's room. It's thicker and sticky already on the No, mark. it's fine. This is working. You could paint underneath too and it would be a lot like brighter. That does look good though. Yeah, if you, whatever color or tone the wood or the paint is underneath the decoupage paper, that's gonna affect the uh, end result. Yeah, so this is actually good. You're gonna see the wood grain through the, the decoupage the paper. paper. When it dries, it will get more solid, oh, you can but that see it is right cool. There. Oh, that looks awesome. And the nice thing is, this side isn't perfect over here and because the wood grain shows through it's fine i'm just using a lot that's the trick is you want to use a lot of whatever medium you go with but careful because when you get going you can rip it really easy yeah once it's wet Oops. it tears I, what, what'd you I, do i ripped it too much you ripped it yeah i'm starting over <laughs> all right round two round two don't, Maybe. don't be so aggressive like Jamie. Maybe use the liquid patina. You can't use a big top, I promise. But Just do not. the big Apparently top. Apparently I can't. Okay. 
All right, now I'll show them right here close. I need a Scissors dry drawer. Scissors are there. You need a dry drawer. Yeah, because I can't put it down there to measure it. Oh. Oh, give me the drawer. I'll use the drawer on top. Live TV is hard. Live TV is rough. It's not rough. We just haven't done this application with decoupage paper down in the bottom of a drawer before. Um, also, allergy meds. Allergy meds. <laughs> Blame the better girl. All right. Oh, it's like paint on that. Okay. You gotta cut it down at least a little bit so you can fit it in there. Second time's a charm. If you're doing a project like this, have extra paper handy. Or go slow and don't rip it. Or don't be on allergy meds. Here. That one has a little paint on the top. It's fine. We'll sand that off. Ain't nobody worried about a little paint on top. I mean, it is on the paper. So the cool story about my friend whose water heater broke, they were, they were on the floor, kneeling together, praying with their granddaughters, holding hands, and they asked for, you know, for the power to get turned back on. And she said within seconds after they were done praying, that the tower, the power turned back on, and the little girls were jumping up and down, screaming, "He heard us! He heard us! God heard us!" It was just a really sweet story. It made me cry when I read it. Those kinds of stories that you remember when you're in the thick of it. God does hear us. All right, let's put this in. One more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'm going back. So I think you went a little heavy. And too juicy. Yeah. Too juicy. Less right. big top. Less big top. Well, I didn't. So at least it's mostly centered now. There we go. Oh. Just push it over. No, you can't just push it. That's why. You got That's what happened last you gotta, time. You got to gently tug. <laughs> Gentle tugs. Gentle tugs, okay. All right. If I can do this on allergy medicine, I promise you guys can do it not on allergy medicine. Now what you could do, which would be smart, Zeb, is wait for that bottom layer to dry. So that way your paper isn't sopping wet and then do the top layer. But we're on live TV, we have to have for that. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get it we done. We gotta get this done, so I'm gonna be soft. Just, just real light, you don't need a ton. You can also use Sweet Pickens Top Coat for the same thing. All right, there we go. Apparently the liquid patina is the secret sauce, but I've heard sometimes when there you live in areas where it's especially um, humid, that there are issues sometimes with liquid patina. So I like to give people other options. Um, if I was doing something with a thicker paper, like when we've done, um, what's that called, wallpaper, or if I was doing like on shoes or fabric, I would definitely use the liquid patina because it is the better decoupage medium. All right, there we go. Let's uh, heat gun that. Oh, you want to heat gun it? Yeah, I'll see if I can fix that other drawer too. All right, see if you can do the other one. I'll go heat gun this one. Okay. This project was too tall to do on the island. When we put the mirror on, it made it way too tall. So that's why we're not over on the island working. Yeah, if you're doing something outside, Jasmine, we do recommend Kills Clear. We don't, we're not in, endorsed by them, but it is water-based and it does hold up decently well. I'm not gonna lie, our front uh, porch swing, we did not seal it with anything, and it's fine. And and it we, faces the sun all day too. Yeah. Also, we did the uh, front door with uh, DIY's little black dress. Also, it's been fine. And then um, razor blade it out too. Like yeah. you cut it with a razor blade. You have to have a really sharp razor blade because the decoupage paper is so thin it wants to tear if it's not really sharp. Gotcha. Well, is it 
the, the, the ripped edge more organic looking like that? Yeah, I like a ripped edge myself. Makes it look like it's been worn in there instead of just recently added. You know what you could do that would be really cool is when it was dried all the way, you could sand it on like the wrinkly texture and then give it some age that way. Oh, you're still filming me? What I was just doing, I thought that you were filming yourself. No, why would I film myself heat gunning? <laughs> all right, well you guys just saw me bang my way through that, but it worked out. I totally thought that you were filming you. You know, this is live TV. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. The proper way would be to measure your drawer, cut it perfectly, get it in there, but y'all know we ain't doing that. Don't heat gun it. That's the proper way. Jasmine says, with my own projects, I don't care about wear and tear. True that. Okay, this is mostly dry. It'll continue to brighten up a little bit. That's pretty. Yeah, it turned out and good. Now the top two drawers are done. Okay. Ta-da. I think this one went in there, but I actually don't think it matters. I mean, they fit pretty well. No, this one's from here. Okay. Are you sure this one's not going in now? No, this is... Oh, you know what? I think you did the second drawer. This one goes... Huh. Yeah. No. No. Over here? I think this one goes down over there. And the one... Oh, I, swear I don't know. This one there. has a lip on the bottom. And that one has a lip on the top. Yep, that's not right. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's, you did the second drawer. No, that doesn't look good. I don't know what I did. Did you do the bottom drawer? No, you did, so now we got to do them all. That's all right. I, I didn't know <laughs> the lady that owns the paper company. Although that was from our samples, and I can't pull from the orders. We have to wait till more paper comes in. It's chill. All right. So what do you use to stick the paper? Um, I use DIY Big Top. Actually, Jane, I don't need a nap. What I need is like caffeinated beverage. <laughs> I slept really good last night. All right, where's <laughs> the other drawer? Um, but all the yeah, drawers are in. I just use DIY Big Top. Obviously, liquid patina is the secret sauce. But if you don't have it, you can use Big Top or Sweet Pickens Top Coat because the tissue paper is really thin. Just be careful when you are applying it. Um, the Big Top and Sweet Pickens Top Coat are thinner than the liquid patina, and they get like really wet and it can rip really easy. Jane says, I'll be right over with some. Deb's trying to get me to not drink soda. All right, do we want to wet distress that um, rose there a little bit and show them kind of what that'll look like? Yeah, let me grab, where's that rag that we used? Oh, to... do not use that rag, it's dirty, dirty. Oh, it's not that dirty, it's great for a wet distress. Can you get brown stuff on my pink paint? I won't. I'll... Here, we'll show you the before. I'm gonna set it down and wet distress it, and then I'll show you the close up after. Oh man, Caitlin said Jonah woke up three times last night. He doesn't remember. I think he sleepwalked. Yeah, this is for Eliza's room. You wanna see the dresser later when the mirror cleans? Yeah, we'll do a video probably next week and we'll show it to you guys all finished. The hardware is like a copper color, so that'll go on there. I actually don't love this at all. So it might you don't like the brassy? No. It's like an oil rubbed bronze, but it's on. It's, it's like good. not on the darker side of oil. So I'm either going to paint that or put new stuff on there. And then we're going to do dark gray, I think, on it. What time do we have time left? Oh, no, it's 11.09. It's, it's time to go. It's time. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Hopefully we shared some fun tips with you on how to make over and mix and match old furniture. I think this looks a lot better once we get that seat upholstered and get it all clear coated. It's going to be good. And maybe someday we'll finish decoupaging all the drawers. Um, you can hit up jamesrayvintage.com. I don't know if we've mentioned our website. That's where we carry the paint and products um, for the you see us use today. You can also go to jrvhome.com if you like home decor, clothing, um, we recently got in some more joggers and some really cute sheet pillows that you guys will see tomorrow. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Ray Vintage for more. DIY.
And painting in the living room. Painting in the living room. You know, when it's snowing outside and the garage is nasty, that's what you do. Yep.